desde el Festival de Escritores de San Miguel de Allende Internacional y tengo aquí a mi derecha a uh, David Everhoff. Welcome to Mexico, David. Thank you. This is the first time you come to Mexico? Uh, my first time to San Miguel de Allende, but, but not my first time in Mexico. You are already been in? I've been in Mexico City a couple times and, and in Baja, California. Wow. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Eh, bueno, David Everhoff, eh, estaba ya saltando lo importante, es el autor de La Chica Danesa, de la novela original que dio pie a la película, pues ganadora del Oscar eh, hace un par de años. Eh, vamos a conversar un poco sobre, sobre justamente La Chica Danesa, ¿no? Yeah. Eh, well, I would like to ask you, how was uh, the investigation you make, all the, all the information you gathered to, to, to write the Danish girl in that, in that context, in that, uh, in that time? Yeah, uh, The Danish Girl was my first novel, and I began writing it almost 20 years ago. And um, I had heard about Lily Alba, who was a transgender pioneer, one of the first people to have uh, what we call uh, gender reassignment surgery. Mm -hmm. And I was really curious about um, who she was and how brave she was. Um, she transitioned at a time when uh, very few people knew what that meant to be transgender and there was um, great ignorance um, and almost no medical knowledge. And I thought to myself, Um, what kind of woman would be so strong and courageous to say first to herself and to then to the world, this is who I am and this is who I want to be. And so I started researching her life and I went to Copenhagen where she lived and I went to Dresden where she found help from the medical community and I began to um, think about her life. And one of the most important parts of her story is um, she was married and her wife played a significant role in this story and so I soon realized that this story was also a love story and um, that The Danish Girl, the book that I wanted to write was going to explore issues of identity and issues of love. You were at the same time working as editor? Yes. How, how was that? that uh... Uh, well, this was so long ago. I, wor I was working full-time at Random House, but I was very junior. I wasn't even an editor yet. I was very junior. Mm -hmm. And so, like many writers and creative people and artists, we have to work and then we have to find time to do um, our writing. And so I was working um, and I had to get up early every morning and I would work on the book and I'd get up an hour earlier than I would have and worked every day to write a couple pages and just to keep writing. Uh, I didn't know what would happen with The Danish Girl. I didn't know if it would be published. I didn't know what people would think about it. I certainly didn't know there would be a film. You just told the story you wanted? I just told the story I wanted to write. To write. Yeah, and I, I, um, and I kept thinking about Lily and I thought, Well, she means something to me, and uh, she's inspiring to me, and, and maybe, maybe she'll inspire others. How and, and, and who, I, you know, I, I couldn't say. But that, it, I think that's what, what writers do and what artists do, is we, we can't know the outcome, and we don't really do the work for the outcome. We do it for the investigation and the thinking and the creation, and, um, And even the uncertainty, working through uncertainty, is part of writing. And um, and uh, you can't think ahead. You have to think about character, story, language, ideas. And only by focusing on those things can then maybe the story go out into the world and, and speak to other people. And how was when you when you knew what you had a great success first for the printing for the for the novel? How was it when you uh, was told well, was told to you uh, that it would be a movie? Well, um, this too was its own journey, um, and the book came out in 2000, um, and right away. Um, a great producer in Hollywood named Gail Mutrix um, read it and contacted me and said she wanted to try to make a movie um, about based on the Danish girl and I 
talked to Gail and immediately I knew she saw the story in the same terms that I did, that she really found Lily's life to be inspiring and that this was a love story between two people um, who would love each other no matter who they were and that they could trust each other. And so I trusted Gail. Mm -hmm. And for 15 years, Gail tried to make this movie. Uh -huh. And she had a lot of no's mm -hmm. and before she found some yeses. And so it was a long process. It was a very long process. And then finally, Tom Hooper, the director, came on board. And then Eddie Redmayne came on board to play Lily, and then that's when it really started coming together. So it was a long journey, and, and um, in some ways that made it more special that when it finally came out. After 15 years. 15 so years, trying, yeah. Trying to make it easy. Yeah, yeah. She had, had Gail, this producer, in some ways had the sort of the tenacity of, of Lily um, to get it made. Wow. Wow. Yeah. How was it uh, to uh, uh, with the screenplay? Uh, did you, did you told me you you made some comments about uh, the screenplay, and you f you found it uh, very uh, accurate in uh, to the novel. No? Yeah, a wonderful writer named Lucinda Coxon wrote the screenplay, um, and I met with her many many years ago when she first came on board, and. Uh, I think making a movie, um, it seems to me, is about many things, but one of the things it's about is trust and trusting the people that, that you work with who are working on my book. And I trusted Gail, the producer, and then I met Lucinda, the screenwriter, and I really trusted, I trusted her just as much. And, um, and so she wrote a beautiful screenplay that um, captured um, who Lily was but and also captured the nature of this marriage and this love story so that when it got into the hands of Tom Hooper the director and into the hands of Eddie Redmayne and Alicia Vikander who were going to play these two roles they then could then bring their own talents and intelligence and empathy to those roles and and create them into something that I could never have imagined and all of this happened for different reasons but but because I think each person involved sort of trusted trusted the process and believed in the story and was inspired by Lily and who she was and, and what she what her life means and, and what she accomplished. I'm very sorry David, you're a very busy uh, guy now in, in this uh, conference. Uh, the attorney, we have to, we have to finish okay. it. I, I want to thank you for, for your time. Thank you so much. Y bueno, eh, le agradezco mucho a David, les decía, eh, le agradezco mucho por el tiempo que nos ha dado. Eh, pues eh, bienvenidos, aprovecha México, disfruta México y Guanajuato. Eh, muchas gracias y bueno, cortamos, continuamos en estudio. Gracias.